Shifting and nudging are two ways to move your audio backwards and forwards on a track. Let's start with shift. Now let's say I want to move this back by one beat. Of course I could drag it, but let's say I want to move all of these back. I can shift all three of these back by one beat by going to shift or option H. I have choices of moving the clips that I've highlighted earlier in my timeline or later in my timeline. I can do it by bar beats and ticks, minutes and seconds, by sympty code, feeds and frames, or even at the sample level. So let's move this earlier by one bar. Done. Let's shift it to the right later by one second. And that's all for shifting. Very, very simple. It's nice when you want to slide things around by a predetermined amount. Now let's put that back. And now let me talk about nudge. Up here under the grid, there is a nudge value. And we can set the nudge to bars and beats, or minutes and seconds, or even time code, shifting by seconds and by frames. Let's continue to work with bars and beats. Now, what is this nudge factor? Well, let me set it to one quarter note. When I press the plus sign on my numeric keypad, anything I've highlighted will be nudged or moved one bar over. It's kind of like shifting. Minus goes backwards. I can also use the period to go forward and comma to go backwards in command focus mode or control period and control comma. Now, the next value up from a quarter note is a half note. And without changing my nudge factor, if I want to move by a half note, I can do slash or backwards by a half note M. And once again, that's command focus mode. If you're not using command focus, it would be control slash and control M. Now, what if I want to nudge the waveform or the audio inside my file here, but not move the actual clip? Let's take this piano part, and I'm going to trim it right to here. Now, within this audio file, I want to just slide this audio to the right. I use that same plus and minus, but this time I hold down the control key. And as you can see, the audio slides to the right and it slides to the left. Now this is very useful when you're working in post, you're trying to line up a bit of dialogue or a sound effect, and you just want to slide things a little bit. And you don't want to move the whole clip, you just want to slide a specific portion of that clip. Let's go to time code and make our nudge factor one frame. And now as I press control plus, you can barely see the clip moving. And now I'm sliding to the right. So the clip location, the start and end stay the same, but the audio moves forward and backward within the clip. So three ways to nudge things and move things. One is using shift or option H. Second is using a nudge value using your plus and minus keys or M, comma, period, and slash. And to nudge within the boundaries of the clip, control plus and control minus.